Sean, I think this is the second time we've been here in a, a couple of weeks. The first time round we were looking at um, CAD CAM solutions from uh, Solid Cam. Today the focus is very much on these star machines that you've got here. Now, well, tell us why you've got them and what you do with them. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Um, we invested in the star machines because we needed that um, accuracy and we needed the lights out manufacturing or um, and a full turnkey package but as the product in t uh, intricacies increased partly through uh, modeling software and um, people trying to make two products into one design that kind of thing the products have become more complex to manufacture so you need multi-axis work and multi-axis uh, tooling and um, more so how would you have done in. these products before or have you got into new work since yeah. you've had the sliders? Oh certainly have, yeah, we certainly, it's opened the door for new commercial opportunities because we, historically you would have had to have hold a, held a product maybe two or three, on two or three occasions where now we can hold it in a single setup and it stays very rigid and, and accurate and we can do the turn mill at the same time. And with the pickup collet and the pickup jaws, we can um, machine both sides, and you half the cycle time. Because uh, you're slider. balancing it out essentially. Yes, yeah. So you, you kind of get the second half of the machining theoretically for free. And it's a much more reliable process, isn't it? When you look at putting a piece of bar in the machine and it coming off as a finished product, that's that's the ideal, the utopia. It is, and I, I think if um, if you look back, probably ten years when we first started. We didn't have this technology, it felt sort of so space age to us, but as you get opportunities to manufacture different types of products, different industries, you have to have this type of technology. Otherwise, quite frankly, you can't compete, I would say technically, never mind financially. Were you quite surprised at how advanced these machines are now and how, how the technology has, has come along to be to make the machines a lot more capable, I mean, we walk around here and you've got all kinds of different materials that you're cutting. You've even you mentioned to me, you know, yeah. um, the different industries that you're working for. So that flexibility is, is important as well, isn't it? As well as the one hit machining. I, I am surprised of how the technology has come along, but I, I think if, uh, if the, well, what's happened is that as the products have become more intricate by nature or by design, then the manufacturing approach has to keep up with that. So, I mean, the stainless products that we do and, and uh, some other exotic materials, you know, these things will run lights out without any tool wear, without any hassle. Yeah, did that surprise you? Do, you? do you worry about that, running a machine like this, you know, with hardly anyone here, unmanned, on a, on a really hard material? Uh, well, there's a lot of history with these machines and there's a lot of technology around ensuring that if something goes wrong, the machine detects that and if there is anything such as um, well there's fire management there is collision control and if a tool wears and the torque increases then there's safety measures that will, will, will stop the machine basically. We can do in process inspection we can set parameters and um, you know the SPC really is when you set the machine up initially and you do initial production development batches you can set um, where you feel as though the tool starts to drift away or um, if you want to get four or five hours on an evening production that's still four or five hours of production with no labor costs so it, it changes the dynamic of your commercial position because if we if we're not able to do that we're just not competitive what sort of volumes do you run through the machines oh i mean historically probably we've had very intricate medical device that, that was sent overseas uh, running on three machines seven days a week with very very little downtime. The downtime were probably preset rather than a failure. So we might say and each machine we're able to do potentially a thousand a week um, each. And the star machine themselves, why this sliding head was your one of choice? Did you research the market? Did we you? did, we did yeah. Uh, Ryan our engineering director he's very, very, um, very keen on the relationships with our machine tool suppliers. And if I'm honest, I think um, the support is key. So it, you can buy a machine and, and while it's running fine, no problems, everyone gets along. But when a machine goes down, that's when the, the true sort of um, 
ethos of the of the Star Micronics comes to the surface, and they've been fantastic. So we touch wood. We've had very little downtime. <laughs>